I'm Louise Forel Alang and I'm from Montreal, Canada, and I am an IT nurse working in pediatric. Together with Coloplast, I'm leading a project to develop global pediatric guidelines for ostomy care. My name is June Amling. I'm an advanced practice nurse at Children's National Health System in Washington, D.C. I've been involved with the development of the pediatric products for about three years. It is important to involve professionals because we are the one caring the, for the, the children. We are in direct contact with them, so we know better about their needs. I am seeing 10 to 12 ostomates every day, and so obviously every child patient is different. I've experienced the pros and cons of having too large of a ostomy appliance, too small, one that doesn't adhere, and I can use my experience to share with you on what the ideal product should be like. We take a lot of pride in not interrupting the premature and the infant baby too much during their hospital stay. The premature babies and the infants are small with a round abdomen, and if the products don't um, contour well, you get leakage, and then you have to change the bag, bag frequently. Having these products available, especially designed for children and babies, will ease the, the work of the ET nurses. The wear time's gonna be longer, and that's very advantageous to the baby, particularly the premature skin. The skin barrier, it is supple, and also we don't have to press on the abdomen to click to clamp it. We just have to, to apply it and it will stick. I especially like very much the small hole for the refeeding. When we work with children, we often have to create what does not exist, but now it exists, it's there. It's easy to put the, the refeeding tube in this little hole. Also, I think that this hole could be used to expose the, the air when there is air in the pouch. So as we all know, the toddlers are a very active group, and whether they're crawling, scooting on their abdomens, or they're climbing a jungle gym, we need an ostomy appliance that's gonna accommodate for their activity level so that we not only may adhere it a little differently, but we definitely need one that's going to um, go with the flow of their activity level. Usually we always have to cut around, you know, to make it fit so that it is not close to the umbilicus or to the thigh. I think that the contour of the skin barrier will adjust more easily to the body profile of young children because most of the time they have a, a round uh, belly. With a smaller stoma product, there will be less risk of accidental dislodgement when the child is moving or crawling. And it will be also less heavy because when they start having stool in the pouch, it becomes heavy. This smaller device will be less visible, so it is easy to put into under the, uh, the clothing of, uh, of the child. And also I think that um, it's more for the parents, you know, they, if they see their child with a big pouch, then it's, uh, it's reminding them that the child is uh, very different. But with a smaller pouch like this, it is cute. 